Welcome back. A local school named a finalist in a nationwide contest. They're competing for a grant they say is badly needed, but they need something from you. That is a vote. Stacey Engerbretson has more in tonight's NBC 26 Cares. The Wapaka Learning Center, which is the public elementary school in town, has made it into the top five of the Cultural Kids Project Playground Contest. Now they need your support to win. Do it! Recess at the Wapaka Learning Center. Kids climbing, sliding, and swinging. But for third grader Adam Nearing, who has cerebral palsy, oh, wait, you missed one. Getting around the playground can be a struggle. Some of it is pretty hard. 10% of students attending this elementary school have special needs or physical limitations. Watch it all the way to the pedal. Inside the building, we are an inclusion school. So they're in the regular ed classrooms with all of our students, and we consider them to be our students. Well, when we go to the playground, we'd like to have that same feeling. The nearest ADA playground is actually in Stevens Point. So for our families that have special needs children, they have to drive over half an hour to have a playground that their students can play at. And to have that here would make a huge difference for those families. So when parent teacher group president Liz Kinnear heard about this online contest by probiotics company Culturel, she applied for the chance to win a $100,000 grant to build an all-inclusive playground at the school. They're smaller in size, so they're lower to the ground. It would have a ramp for wheelchair accessibility. And a rubber surface instead of wood chips where wheelchairs can get stuck. If they can access the equipment like the other children can, it builds their confidence, it helps with peer interactions, so the other children see that they have abilities instead of disabilities. It helps as far as keeping them strong physically and emotionally. The new playground would replace this equipment that's almost 30 years old and warm. But to make it a reality, the school needs your vote. Wisconsinites are people that help each other, and that's what we, we need right now. Support to push the Wapaka Learning Center to the number one spot. A win for the school, its surrounding communities, and students like Adam. I would get two things, that playground equipment and also a free Comet sweatshirt. <laughs> to see the look on their face when they get so excited to know that they would be able to play just like any other child is priceless. And to me, that's what it's all about. If you'd like to vote, the deadline is March 15th. We have a link for you on NBC26.com. Stacey Engebretson, NBC26.